Hey, from Bug Eye Guys. These are Tesla Model S modules. They will be going into our third electric Bug Eye Sprite. You'll see pictures in a minute of that. These are water cooled or coolant cooled. They need antifreeze in here so they don't freeze. But uh, all the BMS is built in to manage these cells, charging, discharging, and maximum energy density for maximum range and power on our next electric bug eye. Five Tesla bricks from a quote unquote lightly used Tesla that was totaled but gave up its batteries for our electric project. A short video tour of what's up at the shop this week. I thought you'd like to see this beautiful, just delicious gray green tub that we've just painted and is getting ready to be built out. We just finished that great gray, black and red car. I wanted to do another one that was derivative of that and also a kind of a reinterpretation of leaf green. This is a putty green or a sage green, not quite as gray as the last one, but we wanted to experiment with some more of these interesting color schemes. I think that the cars really support that kind of modern interpretation of some of these original delicious colors. And this one is, I'm just, I think it's fantastic. It's, uh, I just sort of want to dive into that, that gray green color and we'll see how we finish the trim to accentuate it. Here's another body that's about to get painted. If you have opinions about what color you'd like to see, please send us a note because we'll soon be painting this one as well. And that way we have some, some vehicles available for those of you wanting us to build out a spectacular car, whether it be gas powered or electric. That gray car that we did with the black and red stripes is now in a new home. What a delight it was to drive that machine. So these new cars will be no exception. And over here we have this fantastic electric project. This is the third froggy that we've built and you can see it's starting to take shape. The Batteries are mounted in the trunk here. This will be two of those five Tesla modules, and that will distribute the weight for balance. The other three modules will go up to the front. You can see this big box here. That's the three battery box. And that one is mounted on these uh, custom brackets here that we've fabricated that will literally integrate with the original motor mount in the car. I guess technically this is reversible if somebody wanted to make this into a gas powered frog eye at some point. But for now it will have these motor mounts holding the plate that holds the battery over this motor and cooler. The uh, radiator here will do the cooling for the batteries and the control panel which will all be installed in coming weeks. Here we have an interesting modification that we did. This is a custom heater uh, panel made out of the battery tray, the original pieces, and then reinstalled. We'll repaint this area, but the heater will go into the original Smith's heater box, and it's an electric heater powered off of those Tesla batteries, and then the air will enter the box just like in the stock bug eye and flow down into the passenger cart uh, compartment, and that's how we've handled that on this particular car. So there you have it, a tour of what we've got going on this week here at Bug Eye Guys.